your age absolutely has an effect on on your artistic endeavor, whatever that may be. And uh, fine art is something that develops over time with you. So as you grow and as you change and as you mature, your art matures with you. Since I've turned 50, I have become more of an emotional painter. My art is is now um, representative of the way I've lived my life and the things I've seen in my life and I think that can only come with age. At one point in time while I was just becoming professional I got a a, a call from the um, the organizers of the New York City Art Expo which I had shown my work in the, the previous three years and they had chosen one of my paintings out of um, many thousands of international artists to represent the show. Fourteen artists were chosen and I was one of them so that was like the, the jewel in the crown of, um, of any of my achievements. The brainstorm was really Eric Mahar's idea to, uh, to work with an artist um, and compose with an artist inspiring him and vice versa but um, I really thought we could take it to another level. I have painted to music before and he had composed to art before so I thought let's really take this to another level and make it make it something extraordinary that maybe no one else maybe we couldn't even do it we had no idea that that first time we sat down to work together whether or not this would even work and it was a phenomenal success teaching art which is something I also do is is the most fulfilling form of art for me I'm hoping that in the future, uh, with regards to my art, I can uh, continue to explore new avenues of, of inspiration. I don't generally paint from subject matter. I generally paint from what is inside myself and the emotions that, that the things that inspire me in life can bring out. So I'm constantly looking for new emotional experiences and new new things in life that can inspire me to the point where I can take that inspiration and that emotion and turn it into something on canvas. For me, sharing my art is, is two-faceted. First of all, to be able to uh, touch someone with a piece of art that I have created and, and have it make a difference to them, whatever that means, whether it's because they see something in a painting that inspires them or that makes them feel something emotional in their life that is a greatest achievement as an artist to actually paint something with your own emotions and have someone connect to that 